back. I have to get back. So do you. Yeah, but you're pregnant. Best excuse I know to eat too much. How are your German pancakes? That's wunderbar. And this maple syrup oh, is to die for. Would you like some more? Absolutely not. The last thing this town needs is a fat police commissioner. Is today Monday? All day. Good, it's been delivered. Baby, already? Quick, boil the water, make way for the stalk. Very funny, I'm talking about an antique vase I found under a table in a little antique shop near here. Well, where do you intend to put your vase? Well, I thought we might look together. Darling, when it comes to uh, decorating, you are by far my better half. I'll get it. You keep it. The name is Richardson. District Attorney Richardson. I know. I'm flattered you remember. May I come in? Cream and sugar? Oh, black's fine. Nice place you have here, Scorpio. Understand the city puts the bill. For the equipment. I take care of the rest. On that fat salary everyone's talking about down at City Hall. <laughs> yes, sir. Quite a nice deal you have here. And you too, Miss Sutton. Oh, I should say, Mrs. Scorpio. I certainly never expected to see you in such sumptuous surroundings. Yes, you rather fancied me behind concrete and steel, if I remember. Only doing my duty. And with such flair, especially in the courtroom. If I hadn't have been in the seat I was, I might have been quite taken by your performance. I'll accept the compliment. If only it had been meant that way. I'll leave you two gentlemen to talk. A woman with spunk. I admire that. Yeah, well, I'll pass on some of the other adjectives you use in the courtroom. I don't always like my job, Robert, but I do it as best I can. I'm prepared to put it behind me. And your wife? You better talk to her about that. If and when it ever comes up again, I will. <laughs> you are here for a reason, Mr. Richardson. Well, quite simply, I want to move ahead with the Scott Baldwin prosecution. I want to... Uh, Outline the case, assemble the evidence, file the depositions, and put this before a judge as soon as possible. Now, who's our star witness? Alice Grant, I suppose. Victim's aunt, isn't it? Yeah. She overheard Scotty and Susan arguing minutes before the murder. Well, that doesn't exactly prove anything. She can quote Scotty threatening to murder Susan. Good. Very good, Commissioner. What about the murder weapon? Stella, the uh, Quartermain's maid, can testify that he had the opportunity to go into the Quartermain's den and steal that gun. That's it. Stop. That's all we need. <laughs> this is shaping up into an open and shut case. Hardly. There are still some unanswered questions. Well, who cares, as we discussed on the phone? I mean, the guy had the perfect motive, the forgery angle. Yeah. But there is a problem. We found a notepad with an imprint on it. Now, the lab boys have been able to ascertain that it says, call Bank Ree Scotty's forgery. Only an imprint. That's the point. Where's the original? Well, obviously, Scotty must have destroyed it. Supposition, Counselor. You listen to me, Robert. Like it or not, you're new at this. Now, your job is to furnish me with sufficient evidence for conviction. My job is to see that there is a conviction. Now, I'm telling you that we've got enough evidence right now to nail this guy really good. Your residence. Darling, wait until you see it. Tiffany? Well, who else? I've got the most darling little present that I brought back from New York that you've ever laid your eyes on. When can I bring it over? Better yet, why don't we have lunch? Today? I'll bring Robert along to Vest Iron. Is that okay? Oh, that's marvelous. I know just the dress. Okay, well, I'll tell Robert. Good. I've handled every case. Excuse me, gentlemen. 
Robert, we're having lunch with Tiffany at the Bear Sire Room. Is that all right? That's great, love. Okay, thank you. I'll, I'll order the limo. I'm sorry. Please get on with whatever you were talking about. Bye, sweetheart. Mr. Richardson. The man is in jail. We have witnesses. We have concrete evidence. We have the murder weapon. We have the motive. In my business, when you have that kind of ammo, you attack. Even if you're not sure. Once you make the decision to move forward, you have no choice but to be sure. Yes, so I say wait a little bit longer until all the parties convinced are sure that this guy's guilty. I'm convinced? What more do you need? Well, I'm not convinced. I want to be absolutely sure that Baldwin did it before I push for an indictment. But you arrested the man, didn't you? Yeah, because I think it's very possible that he did it. Well, there you have it. But in spite of all of that, the evidence is purely circumstantial. That's no problem. You go out and you find more evidence. And that's still not going to answer the other problems, the other questions. Like, for instance, what were the three Quartermains doing at that cottage minutes after the murder? Excuse me. You said Quartermains. Don't you bother to read the reports? I don't want them involved in this. They are involved. Yeah, but they're also a very prominent family in this town, a highly respected, looked up to tradition. Yet I know them very well. I know the name, and I don't want them near this. I mean, especially when we've got enough to nail Baldwin right here and now without doing another lick of investigation. You know what the difference between you and me is? All you want out of this is a scapegoat. I never said that. You didn't have to. It's all too obvious, Richardson. You want a scapegoat, any scapegoat. But me? No, I want the truth. This suggests an impasse. For you, perhaps. In the meantime, I intend to set about finding that truth, and I'm not going to be happy until I've found it. All of it. Oh, darling. Well, how do you like my dress? I bought it while I was in New York. I tell you, Delphine will probably be livid, but I could not resist. It's gorgeous. Oh, thank you. So is yours. Where's Robert? Oh, he's meeting us at the restaurant. He had to stop by the DA's office. Oh, that horrible Richardson again? Yeah. Yes, he came by the townhouse today. I don't think I made him feel very comfortable. Well, I should think not. He's probably still got egg all over his face after what he put you through in that trial. Yeah, well, it's in the past, but I have to admit, I did enjoy rubbing it in a bit today. Mm, I bet you did. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. I have your present. Just a little something that I picked up. Oh, Tiffany, <laughs> I'm serious. You shouldn't have. <laughs> well, like the dress style, and I couldn't resist. I tell you what, these commercials are paying such high residuals, I just couldn't help having a little spending spree. <laughs> I just sit back, pick up my checks, and spin, spin, spend. Well, here, sit down right over here. You open it up, and I shall continue my search for those... New earrings of mine. New and you've lost them already? Can you believe it? I haven't even worn them yet. I, t I bet I know where they are. You know, ever since Heather has moved into this house, clothes have been disappearing right and left. I bet you one dollar that she has got them in her room. Okay, you're on, but I want two to one odds. You got a bet. Better get your money out. I'll be back in a flash. You shouldn't have. How did you know? Know what? You just said I shouldn't have. You're the present, silly. Oh, isn't that adorable? It's, it's perfect for the townhouse, really. It's a lovely gift. Thanks, Tiff. Mm. Well, good. Now, is there anything else we have to do before we're ready to go? No, nope, I'm ready. Oh, good. Are you sure that Robert's going to uh, meet us there definitely? Yeah, of course. Why? I just had something I wanted to talk to him about. It could be important. Well, unless it's anything to do with the murder, you're going to have trouble getting him to listen. Oh, it could be. What was that? Oh, nothing. Well, let's get going. I mean, I know that the city takes care of the limo, but I doubt they'll pay for the parking tickets. Okay. <laughs> Before we go, one last little detail. I'm parched. You... Maitre d', please. Oh, I'm sorry. I've been futzing around, and now we're late. Oh, it's okay, really. The maitre d's a, a, a friend. Oh, hi. Hi, Jacques. Yes, how are you? It's Holly, Holly S Scorpio. Yes, well, we're going to be about 15 minutes late. Is that all right? Great, thank you very much. A friend of yours, huh? Yours or Robert's? Both of us. Oh. <laughs> well, let's get going then. We certainly don't want that friendship to change. Right. I can't tell where we might need a maitre d'. Oh, don't forget your present. Oh, thank you. Yes. <sighs> okay, let's go. Oh, oh hi. Two going out? See you later. Um, hey, Heather, wait a minute. No, leave it alone, Tiff. I'll talk to you about it later. I've got more important things to take care of. Hey, well, this is very important, though, Heather. It's not more important than this. What an absolute drag, having her for a roommate. Well, I'm sorry to keep you ladies waiting. 
Well, darling, you will be even more sorry when you find out that we have decided on the most expensive items on the menu. Oh. And of course, you're picking up the check. Of course. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, Miss Hill. Yes. There's a long distance call for you. The gentleman said he's your agent. Thank you. Oh, isn't this exciting? I bet Mickey has another commercial for me. Well, Maybe uh, this time something glamorous with diamonds. Maybe. <gasps> yes. A real long sable coat. Oh, <gasps> oh, 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 my, I can't, my appointment book. I forgot my appointment book almost. Oh, oh, wait, oh, great day in the morning. I have to do everything. Wait, wait, take your phone call. We'll oh, think I'll be back with some marvelous news in a moment. She never changed. No, and I'm glad I wouldn't have her any other way. You know what? Neither would I. I'm, uh, sorry I'm going to have to eat and run, but this Scotty business is keeping me jumping. Anything new? Well, nothing I haven't already told you. I have interviews about him all afternoon. And you love it? The interviews? All the work. But of course. I mean, if anybody knows that, you should. <laughs> Let me guess. You're doing a commercial for skin-tight blue jeans. You know, I would look marvelous in skin-tight blue jeans. <laughs> <laughs> no, unfortunately, Mickey uh, calls about the last commercial I did. I might have to go back to New York for just a little retake. You and know. <laughs> you love even that. You know, I really do. It is so exciting being in front of the camera again. Not that poor Charles doesn't have its excitement, of course. <laughs> Tell me, is it true that Scotty Baldwin actually murdered his wife? Well, he had the opportunity and the motive. You name it. Well, not to mention a reputation for being a first-class heel. Well, heel, yes. Murderer, well, I've got to prove that. Robert has, has to eat in a hurry and leave. For which Robert is properly sorry, believe me. Hmm. I had something I had to tell you. What? Well, that's just the problem. For the life of me, I can't remember what it is. Well, it obviously wasn't that important anyway, was it? 